Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Try to stay right here. Be steady. All the goodness in the world comes from steadiness. Or steadiness is an important aspect of goodness. We like to be happy all the time, which means that we have to create that causes for happiness all the time. And they start in here. They start with the trained mind. So train your mind to stay here. Any other thoughts that come through the mind right now, you can let them go. Show the mind that you mean business. You really do want to develop good qualities in mind, because those are the, mind, those are the qualities by which you protect yourself. Things like mindfulness, alertness, ardency. You're trying to do this really well. These are the qualities that help us build goodness in all aspects of our lives. If they're weak with the breath, it's going to be hard to develop them in other areas. So the breath is right here all the time. So try to be with the breath all the time. The mind will have a place to settle down and gain some strength. We know this skill because people have passed it along ever since the time of the Buddha. It makes you stop and think, how many people are we indebted to? All the people, the person who discovered these teachings, the people who passed them on. Without them, where would we be? Would we think about looking at our breath, studying our breath? Probably not. It's because of the goodness of past people that we have the opportunity to build goodness today. So we should have some gratitude for them. Today's Thanksgiving, it's a day of gratitude. And depending on where you believe your gratitude lies, it's a good thing to show gratitude to those who have done you good. Because doing good for other people is not always easy. You think of all the sacrifices your parents went through, all the sacrifices their teachers went through, other people who have done you good in the past. It's not always easy. Once so you think about that and realize that they had the choice not to be helpful, but they chose to help you. And even if they didn't know you personally, the people of past generations who knew they had something good, they wanted to pass it on from the succeeding generations. Those are the people we should be grateful for, too. So how do you show that your gratitude? Well, if they're alive, you try to help them. If they're not alive, then you try to pass on the goodness. In other words, you develop the goodness inside you and you pass it on. As John Lee said, the teachings on how to practice virtue, concentration, and discernment are like a recipe for medicine. Now, if you've ever never taken the medicine, you don't know how good it is. So the recipe just sits there. And if nobody pays any attention to it, after a while, it may People say, well, this is just old trash, just old pieces of paper, you throw it away, you burn it, and it gets lost. But if you've taken the medicine and you realize, okay, this was really good for you, it really did cure the disease, then you want to make sure that that recipe gets protected, doesn't get lost, and you pass it on to other people. So it really understood how good the goodness of people in the past has been. You try to follow their instructions for how goodness is built inside. And when you see this really is good. It's immediately good for you, and then you want to make sure it gets passed on to people behind you. So this is how goodness gets maintained in the world. We follow the instructions, what we've learned from the past, see that it's good, we want to make sure it gets passed on. So this is one of the ways in which we show our gratitude for all the goodness that people have done for us. You have to remember that you're born into this world. It's not like you discovered language on your own or you discovered the world on your own. There are other people who had to help you. And so appreciate that help. That means that if you appreciate the help, you'll be much more likely to pass it on. 